The U.S. Army has recently accelerated its modernization of mechanized units by expanding production and upgrades for the Bradley M2A4 and M7A4 fighting vehicles. In late September 2025, BAE Systems received two contract modifications totaling over $22 million, bringing the cumulative value of ongoing Bradley production and conversion contracts to $668.4 million. These developments reflect a strategic decision by the Army to ensure that its armored brigades remain combat-ready while bridging the operational gap until the XM-30 mechanized infantry combat vehicle enters service in the early 2030s. The contracts, executed through the Army Contracting Command at Detroit Arsenal, Michigan, cover the conversion of legacy hulls into modernized A-4 variants, with completion scheduled for late 2027. This expansion illustrates a deliberate effort to maintain a credible and capable mechanized force amid ongoing global uncertainties and increased NATO commitments. The M2A4 and M7A4 variants represent the latest iterations of the Bradley Fighting Vehicle, optimized to restore performance margins eroded over decades of incremental upgrades. The Engineering Change Proposal, ECP, Programs underpinning these variants addressed a range of mobility, survivability, and power challenges identified during operational deployments in Iraq and Afghanistan. ECP-1 focused on improving suspension systems, lighter tracks, new torsion bars, and shock absorbers to restore ground clearance and maneuverability across rugged terrain. ECP-2 introduced a new power pack consisting of a 675-horsepower Cummins VTA903E T675 diesel engine paired with an HMPT-800-3 ECB transmission and modern power management electronics, allowing the platform to accommodate heavier loads and increasingly energy-intensive electronic systems. Vehicles incorporating both upgrade packages were reclassified as A4 standard, signaling their enhanced operational readiness and extended service life. The first M2A4 units were fielded in April 2022, and as of mid-2025, the Army had ordered 985 of the planned 1,329 units to equip nine armored brigades along with associated training and support assets. The combat capabilities of the M2A4 remain centered on its 25mm M242 Bushmaster chain gun, a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun, and dual-tube tow missile launchers. These systems allow the vehicle to engage a variety of threats, including enemy armor and fortified positions. Fire control enhancements include automated dual-target tracking, hunter-killer engagement functionality, and a digital central processing unit running ballistic fire control software. Survivability improvements include reactive armor compatibility, an upgraded fire suppression system, counter-IED jammers, and integration of active protection systems on selected subvariants. The latest M2A4E1 model integrates the Iron Fist Light Active Protection System, featuring radar and infrared sensors connected to interceptor launchers capable of defeating incoming rockets, guided missiles, and drone threats. Environmental control systems have also been upgraded to address heat stress within crew and troop compartments, a long-standing concern in prior iterations of the platform. The M7A4 variant, built on the M2A4 chassis, serves as a specialized fire support platform. It is equipped with advanced target acquisition and designation systems, capable of identifying targets up to 20 kilometers away and generating highly accurate coordinates for artillery and indirect fire support. Despite its focus on fire support, the M7A4 retains defensive armament, including the 25mm cannon and coaxial machine gun, and maintains mobility characteristics comparable to the M2A4. Additional capabilities include digital integration with the Joint Battle Command Platform, Blue Force Tracker 2, and satellite communications, allowing commanders to maintain situational awareness and coordinate mechanized operations efficiently. Protection features encompass underbelly armor, energy-attenuating seating, 
and ventilation systems for defense against chemical, biological, and radiological threats. Testing and evaluation of the A4 series were extensive, ensuring operational effectiveness and suitability for mechanized infantry roles. Early trials identified design deficiencies, such as issues with the turret battery system, which prompted temporary testing suspensions and design adjustments. Subsequent live-fire exercises and follow-on evaluations validated the platform's mobility, survivability, and fire support capabilities while confirming improvements in leader situational awareness and target engagement efficiency. Soldier touch points and production verification testing provided critical feedback, confirming that upgrades addressed prior vulnerabilities and that vehicles met Army standards for reliability and performance. Reports also highlighted ongoing challenges, such as excessive compartment heating and susceptibility to certain cyber or kinetic threats, which are being addressed through incremental mitigation measures. The operational relevance of the Bradley A4 series was recently demonstrated during Exercise Hedgehog 25 in Estonia in May 2025. Units from the 3rd Infantry Division deployed M2A4 vehicles as part of NATO's multinational training exercises along the eastern flank. These scenarios simulated high-intensity mechanized warfare, including urban and woodland combat, rapid maneuver operations, and defensive deployments. The exercise included airlift of vehicles by C-17 Globemaster III aircraft, validating the rapid deployment capability of armored units to forward positions. Once deployed, M2A-4S supported infantry operations, conducted breaching tasks, and provided area security, working seamlessly with Allied forces. The exercise underscored the importance of mobility, interoperability, and rapid reinforcement in response to regional security threats, highlighting the Bradley's adaptability in both conventional and coalition operations. The U.S. Army's continued investment in the M2A4 and M7A4 also reflects broader strategic considerations. Around 186 Bradleys, mostly older M2A2 ODSSA models, have been transferred to Ukraine as part of military aid programs, emphasizing the need to sustain a capable domestic fleet. The modernization path represented by the A4 and E1 variants allows the Army to maintain armored readiness without waiting for the XM30, which is still years away from entering production. These upgrades demonstrate a pragmatic approach, extending the service life of a Cold War-era platform while ensuring it meets modern survivability, mobility, and networked warfare requirements. By preserving compatibility with NATO systems and integrating advanced sensors, communications, and active protection measures, the Bradley remains a cornerstone of U.S. mechanized operations. Looking ahead, the M2A4 and M7A4 will continue to form the backbone of the Army's armored brigades. Their incremental improvements ensure that soldiers have the firepower, protection, and mobility necessary for a wide range of operations, from high-intensity conflicts to coalition exercises and rapid deployment missions. At the same time, lessons learned from these upgrades will inform the development and fielding of the XM30, which promises to further enhance lethality, network integration, and survivability in the 2030s. The Army's approach illustrates a balance between immediate operational needs and long-term modernization objectives, emphasizing cost-effective solutions, operational continuity, and strategic flexibility. In conclusion, the expanded Bradley contracts and ongoing fielding of the A-4 and E-1 variants highlight the U.S. Army's commitment to maintaining mechanized superiority amid evolving global threats. By modernizing a proven platform, integrating advanced defensive and electronic systems, and validating performance through rigorous testing and multinational exercises, the Army ensures its armored brigades remain ready for both current operational demands and future challenges. 
The Bradley M2A4 and M7A4 serve as a vital bridge between legacy systems and next-generation mechanized combat vehicles, embodying a practical yet technologically sophisticated approach to sustaining force readiness in an era of rapid military transformation.